Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us here this morning. And this is going to be a different program, but we'll be sure to make it very interesting for you. Um, <clears throat> we love you again uh, to share this with your friends. And um, we, so we invite you also to make comments, okay? Questions, please ask questions. Ask the right questions, they'll give you the right answers. So it's not just about finding answers, but it's actually about um, getting the right questions. So as we get into the subject of geopathic stress, um, what is it? So there's w way more to be seen than what the physical eye can see. Again, once again, we only see 0.0001% of the electromagnetic spectrum. So way beyond that, there's more. And we're trying to bring the invisible into the visible. And we're using call them magic wands. These are based on dowsing technology. It's been around for ages. People that have been gifted with the ability to uh, find water and many other things still being used today. Uh, <clears throat> I was gifted with these about two years ago and they've been my amazing teacher. So I'm just willing to share with you some of these subjects because we are all being impacted by energies. And, and since everything is energy, and energy we don't see, we need to be able to bring it before you so that you can identify it. And um, we all live in homes or in places and shelters. And even if we don't, if, even if you're homeless, you might be out on the street. But wherever you go, um, there are energies generated from deep down into the earth to the surface of the earth. And that can be generated from underground streams, um, mineral embeddings, um, and then the more structures there are being put into place. So you've got sewer piping, electrical stuff, um, <clears throat> everything that goes and runs all over the place creates um, these energy fields. And we don't see it as, but it's definitely having some um, impacts on people and quite often on their quality of life. So you ever wonder why perhaps you're dealing with a lack of energy? You might find yourself working, living, sleeping in spaces that are really negatively affecting your energy field. And if you've seen in my previous uh, videos uh, that when we measure a person's um, energy field based on their DNA going into these wands, then you can also identify what, uh, you know, the, the size of your bioenergetic field, your life force, and when you put things in, on, near you, okay? So when we're living in a home, we can dress up our home and make it really look inviting and good to the visible eye, everything we see, but what's going on behind the scenes, okay? So we are building these homes and we've got all kinds of material, plus we're building it on top of uh, whatever is on the earth and that could be maybe underground streams or it could be mineral deposits and these could be as far down as 3,000 feet and it goes straight up and these lines run all over the place. So what we're going to get to is again whatever can be measured can be managed and we wanted to show you in this beautiful home here that we're in belonging to my sister in Burnaby, British Columbia, <clears throat> how we can measure what goes on in, in this home. And then, of course, it's not just bringing problems to the uh, table, but we want to also bring solutions, okay? So we have some unique solutions, and you've been introduced to the energy card, you've been introduced to the uh, OGs as well. So next thing is, I'm going to go through the space and identify that. Now, hmm my samples. <laughs> I'm going to have to find them. Where did I place the ones? So I'm looking for two tubes. And I might have put them somewhere. Oh, right here, I think, in my side pocket. Too many pockets. And here we are. So these two tubes, instead of putting DNA in there, we have samples of water. And what this will allow me to do, it will, again, we insert them into my wands. And then as you see me walking through here, Okay, they start to point this way. But if I walk backwards, you see the change that is going on. And they open up like this. 
So there is an invisible energy line that's running right through this home. I step forward, they close. I say step and move backward, <clears throat> it opens up. So there's an energy line. If I continue to walk backwards and I have to watch my step, they close again. And right after that, you can see there is another energy line. Okay, so these are lines that are running across in this direction. But <clears throat> there are other energy lines run in different direction too. So over here, I'm pointing in this way, as I step backwards, watch this open up. So there's one energy line that runs across this way. So there's a multiple one. And different spaces, they come at different distances from each other, okay? So again, go further back and closes and there it opens up. So these can be reoccurring every two to four feet. Now, <clears throat> what we'll notice is that, okay, so there's lines running this way and lines running this way. And when we get the lines crossing like this, okay, so they cross each other, you have an energy vortex taking place. And these energy vortexes could be negative or positive. So that's one whole aspect. And if we're being affected by a lot of negative energy, then it could be working against us. Okay, so we want positive energies to help and build us up and keep us energized. So I'm gonna remove this from here. And it's more important to now to identify the, uh, the effects that it's going to create. <clears throat> So what this uh, insertion is going to allow me to is to find the positive energy centers, okay? Now this is made up, again, of where the energy vortexes are created, where the lines cross, geopathic stress lines, okay? And <clears throat> I'll take you a little bit into some of the history. So this has been going on for centuries. In 1952, um, Dr. Schumann in Germany determined that there's a frequency that is associated with the Earth's magnetic field, 7.83 Hertz. And <clears throat> so that's where they are called Schumann waveforms. And so these lines that are occurring, the geopathic stress lines created by anything from, again, underground water, minerals, you just name it, and then the structures we put in place have negative effects on it, okay? So it can alter the 7.83 hertz. Um, they interfere, they disturb, distort, okay? That's really what's happening. And if it does it to the field. Um, the other aspect on that <clears throat> is 7.83 hertz, or the Schumann waveform, is actually resonant to the alpha state of the brain. And that determines, so the alpha state is what provides it with health. Okay, and if we get disturbed from that frequency, it creates all kinds of physical manifestations. And who knows what that all can be. And what's been unique is that when I go into people's homes and check the various areas of their home, they quite often have really negative places. And we will show that and we're going to demonstrate. It. So <clears throat> then there's the traditional aspect in the Chinese culture and I'm gonna show you a book, just I'll bring it here before your presence. Feng Shui, <clears throat> thousands of years old. And so this even deals with it further because as we, again, choose materials to build our homes, design the doorways, even when they get into the numbers and everything else, and where we position stairs, um, <clears throat> objects, furniture, Everything is made out of material. Everything has a geometric to it or a shape, and the shape also flows the energy. Then there is the colors of things. And we know that there is energy from this, the colors. Blue, for example, is very calming. Red is very exciting. Uh, <clears throat> so we want to energize things. A lot of red makes good. And, unique to the Chinese culture, they use a lot of red in, in their stuff, okay, so red and gold and so on. So is there a truth? To a lot of people, this is maybe um, just a cultural thing, mysticism, but <clears throat> we're actually seeing more so that this is uh, 
really true, okay? And it does have an impact. And so in the, in the mystery, perhaps, uh, because we are not educated in our formal educational system, but these things do exist, okay? And people still practice it, and people are becoming more and more aware that we didn't, um, in our educational system, we didn't come from, you know, coming out the slime and walk and, and be the ones and we're on top of all the knowledge and, and the background, uh, you know, to be, let's say, to be the most educated people in the world. There are ancients, uh, societies, Sumerian, Egyptians, and so on, who had knowledge way beyond even now. They still can't figure out how all the pyramids, for example, are built. And just to let you know that there are not just pyramids in Egypt, there are pyramids throughout the whole world. And what they've been discovering is that these pyramids um, are actually built on ley lines. So these are energy lines, okay? So they configured all this stuff to work um, from an energy perspective. So the ancients have had actually more knowledge and input to that. Okay, so we are interested in generating positive energy, right? Because negative energy could be harmful. So by having put in these two other samples in here to determine um, a measurement of positive energy, um, now I'm going to point it this way. And the action you're looking for is when it opens up like this, okay? That's positive. So I'm actually facing a mirror. And wherever we have mirrors, mirrors, and you find that from feng shui, from the Chinese studies on this, create a, a negative impact. So if you're standing in front of a mirror, it's good to look at yourself and reflect, but don't spend all your time in the mirror. Do not have a bunch of mirrors in your bedroom that could energetically affect you because it creates negative energy. It might feel, make you feel very drained. So I'm pointing in this direction here, and this is negative, okay? But as I turn around, and I move around a little bit, um, you'll see as I'm moving around how this opens up. So I'm in a positive energy zone right here, okay? And as I proceed to walk through this part of the home, you can see also here, this is good. It's positive energy, okay? And um, this whole area here actually energetically, this is also comes from the objects on the wall, the mirrors, um, you know, the, the pieces that we have here over top. So this is a really, um, I just noticed it says friends. Um, this is a very friendly space to be in, okay? And uh, so this whole area here is good, except we have one little pocket right in here that is negative. Other than that, this is like about probably 95%. Um, very, very positive. So we go off into this little space of the dining area. And before we do it, as I approach stairs, there's something about stairs going up or down. As I approach the stairs, there's energy flowing up, okay? So it's kind of going up the stairs and into that space, and you can see it's negative. So do not spend a lot of time in stairways. <laughs> as we move into this dining area, watch this open up. So this whole area in here is very, very good. It's a good place to have your dinner, okay, because the energy is all good. Wow. Now here we are, very, okay, we're going to proceed and now the only space that where we have actually a bit of a negative pocket is right here because we have a set of mirrors here and I can walk back so what is good right up to where these chairs are um, so if I go back right in this space is negative but all this space into the dining table and even you know this set of lights over there uh, the geometrics of it it all flows good energy so the overall makeup is more balanced in this room Okay, now we're going to enter into a kitchen. Now what we do know is that kitchen areas have sinks, they got the ventilation for the, for the cooking, for the hood on there, that sucks energy out, okay? Which is all right uh, because when we wash things, we want things to 
flow out of spaces. But again, when uh, we spent a lot of time in the kitchen, we could also be in an area that if we were to work in the kitchen all day, it can be very draining, okay? So here's another space that uh, a little eating dining area, and right in the middle it's good, but on the peripherals of it, we can see it's a little less balanced, okay? And um, here's a bit of a recreational area, where we, so as we walk towards it, it's a kind of negative, so this is not a good space to spend your whole day in there. Again, this in front of this mirror, this mirror will project a lot of energy, okay? But as we can see, this isn't as good as the living room area up front. Um, that is a much more friendly space. So how would you know? Maybe to the physical eye, this all looks just great, right? But it's, it's all about the energetics. So as we point to some of these problems, perhaps, or you know, call it challenges, we also have provided um, some solutions to it. And we're going to work towards that. Um, <clears throat> so let's see what we can do is we're going to go up the stairs here. Okay, we're going to look at some of the stuff that's going on in the bedroom area and so on. Okay, so going up the stairs. Okay, you can see it's negative energy because the energy is flowing up. And immediately as we get upstairs, there is a bathroom. And again, bathroom, you can recognize it. There's drains from the bathtub. There's a toilet. There's a couple of sinks. There's a mirror. But it's okay if it was to be that way, uh, that way because it all drains, you know, stuff. You're washing things, so you want it to actually flow out. Um, <clears throat> so this area here, just moving away from the stairs, so top of the stairs, there we have a negative zone, but as soon as we get up into this area, it's good. And as we move into this space, it's got a great picture there also, Pictures, photographs, paintings can also contribute to good energies. Here's a bedroom area, beautiful looking, nice pictures on here. And this is also very good. But as soon as I stand in front of this closet mirror, you can see how that is negative. Now what I'm gonna do for a minute is I'm going to, because they're mirrored, and if I were to open these mirrors and if I stand over here I've changed the way the mirrors project and you could see that I'm now more into created a positive energy so mirrors play a unique part in the way that your energetics flow in in your home so the more mirrors the more potential now one quick solutions if this was to be in your bedroom and you go to sleep at night is to drape perhaps a sheet, a blanket, anything, something across that mirror, and that will change the, the energetics as well. So <clears throat> there's some things you can do. Um, this is kind of a, a touching space here, and mom and dad passed away a couple of years ago, and uh, we do have um, boxes with their ashes out there, and they were great people and um, <clears throat> anyways I can feel standing here a very powerful energy field and um, it's like Their energy is still present. So here's an office space. Very good. Very good energy. 
throughout this whole office space. Good place to do your work. Except, <clears throat> notice this object, this lamp standard, and it's with, with the geometrics there, but it's a very small area, okay? So we can see how that has um, changed somewhat, but we'll find that in everyone's homes, okay? There are objects, um, there's materials, there's perhaps, again, bathrooms and so on that um, flows things. So here we're going into another bedroom, and that should be a good place to be, to find yourself in sleeping with good energy. And this particular bedroom is flowing some good energy in here. Over top of the bed, I've been in people's places where we've um, tested it and, and the energy is wild. Sometimes the energies go boom, 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 and then the person is dealing with uh, cancer okay so you want it positive you want it calm so that you can have a good night's sleep so wonder perhaps why you don't have a good night's sleep okay as, as you can see I'm moving away from the bed and as soon as it's on the side of the bed it turns negative again we and, have a question from Cerritos. Hmm? she said is the DNA in the gun no DNA in this case because I'm looking at checking out the space so I was using water first to find the lines, the geopathic stress lines. And now I'm just using um, something that is in here that allows me to test for a positive reading, okay? So we can, if it's not positive, then it's negative, okay? Um, so thanks for asking the question. Great, great question. Yeah, because you've probably seen the other ones, I'm always working with DNA. We will, as we get to the solution, I will work with DNA in a person in one area that's more positive, give you a reading, and then we'll go on to, let's say, the kitchen where it's negative, and then we'll show you how we can solve that. So there's another bathroom, and you can see the energy coming from the bathroom. Again, it's kind of negative, and it extends all the way up to about here, okay? And so up here is good, but as soon as I move right into this area, it's negative. So the bed is covered really kind of nice, okay? And so, again, this bedroom is fairly, fairly balanced, all right? Now, <clears throat> there's one more space that is downstairs, and it's, I guess, part of the dungeon, <laughs> and um, that we really have to look at. So we're going to go down into the basement area of the house, <clears throat> and as we traverse down here and um, again this is right in this little hallway here stairs going up energy flowing up okay it's um, a bit of a negative area but it's over here as we move in this is positive and then we come into this huge area big mirror over here and that's kind of projecting a lot of energy throughout here that's kind of, yeah, a lot of negative energy. So we often think of mirrors being great and reflect. And the beauty of it, but you can see that this whole area here is now, and I think it's the effect of there's mirrors on the fireplace. Again, a fireplace has um, a chimney attached to it, so it's going to bring the energy up. So we can see that in here it's kind of negative, okay? We have another kitchen. So there's a lot of, <coughs> Um, the ways that this is being constructed all looks great, looks beautiful, but there's more than what meets the eye, okay? Um, so we move in here. This is Michael's bedroom and <clears throat> mirror. We have paintings, we've got this. Power panels behind this door is actually a uh, water boiler, okay? So again, there's a chimney effect. So this is like really, we, we're getting the EMFs from the me from the panel, the power panel. We get behind it probably the smart meter, not so smart, but they have to call everything smart <laughs> to think that we make in smart decisions. And um, yeah, so you, here you have, okay, we're standing right in front of this mirror. So you can see there are some positive spots in here as well. But generally this space is into more of a, a negative one okay but let's get on with solutions 
Okay, so we're going to go back upstairs. <clears throat> and then, you know, in the, in the Chinese um, culture, when they refer to feng shui, and they refer to this energy, and they refer to it as uh, dragon's claws, okay? And, um, <clears throat> you know, they have a lot of dragons in their, in their uh, culture um, system. So again, you know, the, the claws have drawn this stuff out of you. So they've had a lot of knowledge over time. And it's good for us to recognize that, that what does exist in cultures and belief system does actually exist. And again, it's just, let's ask the right questions. Let's find out. Let's not so easily dismiss things and say, oh, impossible. Because we are at the height of civilization. We've had the best education. There is so much we still don't know. Okay. So it's, I feel it's very important. And I'm only scratching the surface of what really is out there. But I feel it's my my whatever my passion my job to do to share with you all this stuff that i'm starting to learn about and be able to bring in that visual spectrum so we're going to go back upstairs now okay these are called ogs or orgone generators and if you watch our previous segment with reinhardt um, <clears throat> they come in many different shapes and sizes and this is a pendant that you can hang and also use outside of just hanging it um, <clears throat> these are made they're all cast into a resin substance, and as you can see, there's metals and spirals. Um, there's minerals in there. There are uh, <clears throat> stones and crystals, okay? And all these things, as we know now, create energy. And then they, when combined into a structure like this, into a resin structure, they create an energy field, it's like synergy, okay? They're working together. And these can be quite beneficial. And we're going to demonstrate that in, in a minute, how well this can work. So for example, they have done research and they have found places where there's high accident rates uh, that the, the energy, for example, can be very, very negative. Also potholes occurring in, um, in roads, okay? Um, so yeah, so many different ways that Geopathic stress is affecting our lives, but we haven't really identified it's an unknown to so much of this world. So we have them in um, a pyramid shape like that, okay? This has got a pyramid shape, but it's got more be bevels to it. Um, all beautiful, different combination, different metals in there as well. And this is kind of like a, a dome shape, uh, built a very unique round energy field um, and these are one of a kind so Amy and Kevin who have already picked up some of these we are going to have some whatever I think there's a total of around 20 of these available you can see them on our website this one has got it's like a dome but it's got a lot more bevels um, Reinhardt who's spent many many years investigating this um, knowledge and creating this stuff at his place uh, has been putting these beautiful structures together and <clears throat> they the, the key thing is they work okay I test them and they work so now we have my sister back here and we're gonna place her and like what I've done before I already have her DNA collected in here okay so that's through the swabs okay you can see there's uh, Q-tip swabs and that collected her DNA. So that's her frequency. And just like every radio station has its own frequency, we are inserting that and removing the previous for positive energy. And then what we're gonna do is she's gonna stand here because we know that this is more of, an, of a positive zone. And then we're gonna measure her energy in the kitchen. And then we're going to work towards rebalancing everything. So we're gonna move over in this direction and She's gonna come and stand over there. Okay, so you look at this, the distance here, okay, where she's standing in a great space right now. Also, she's got a few more of the OGs around there. We're probably 16, 18 feet or so in length. And let's go walk towards the kitchen area. So follow Peggy into the kitchen. 
And <clears throat> okay, so with her DNA in here, you can see that from this direction, she's uh, about half the size. So face the sink even, and you can see that depending on the direction even and how you stand and closer to it, how the energies can change, okay? So as we move around, these energies change. All right, so now um, I'm just gonna change the direction here for a minute too, okay? So this is the energy field. We're looking at, I don't know, probably six, seven feet here right now. And should we grab one of the big OGs? All right, so we're gonna grab one of the big OGs and any of them will work, even the little ones, okay? And, okay, so this one is beautiful and bright, lots of red in there, okay? And, and just, co again, color itself gives a lot of energy. So what we have here, and this is to also rebalance the energy field. So we have our life force energy card. We've got the small version. This is a slightly bigger version. You can find them on the website, okay? Uh, people love these, they can put them under their food and so on. And, okay, EMS protection, electromagnetic fields, okay, that's all around this because of all the electronics and so on, uh, microwaves, you just name it, okay. So by placing these together, if I put any of these OGs right on top, and then if I'm placing them near an electrical cord that is plugged into the receptacle in the wall, the two energy forces between the, um, the card and the OG create a new technology. And that will allow us to change the energy field. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first of all, before I'll remeasure um, Peggy's energy, is to, my pockets. <laughs> Okay, so while we have this in here, so you saw her standing there a minute ago, and, mm -hmm. and now that we have the OG on top of the energy card, it has changed the energy dynamics of this space. And we being energy, and again, I keep on saying whatever we put in, on, near our bodies affects us energetically, our bioenergy, our life force. So while we've done that, <clears throat> her life force was about maybe five, six feet, but look what happens now. We haven't changed anything on her body, but it, this is now near her body and her energy field has built up to, you know, probably a good 20 feet, okay? So how we rebalance the energy in the homes will drastically affect the energy of our bodies, our life force. Can we try to remove it? Wow. Sure. Okay, so just remove that. So now she's taken that apart, okay? And watch what happens is that you can see the energy changing here. Okay, it's rebalancing. And you can see now that her energy field has become smaller once again, okay? There we are, that's how big it is right now. So put that back on again, please. Okay, so she places it on, you can see how again, it's all building up. The energy dynamics are changing. So the life force in her is also affected. It's become bigger again, and we're back out to about 20 feet, okay? So it definitely does affect um, our body. So if you're concerned about, this is an easy solution. If you're concerned about your health, that of your family, and perhaps even that of your neighbors, because by us putting those two together, and if you were to live in a condo or an apartment building, there's a common thread by which all your electrical is connected into the breaker boxes, into the gutters, and then back to the transformer on the street. So these frequencies, vibrations generated by our energy card and the OGs combined creates that whole new life force, okay? And this can help everything, not just us, not just humans, animals. Um, <clears throat> they found this actually, they've done experiments with geopathic stress and with animals and certain animals like it and other animals can exist and so on, even in their birthing and 
where they can't hold their, uh, their babies. Um, there's been some interesting stuff done that has, you know, never really, it doesn't get taught in, in school. Even if you go to university, you're not likely to be able to pick a course on this, okay? It doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Does it have to be combination? Yes. Oh. Uh, they will each do well on their own for certain things, but the, the combined effect is uh, amazing. And I discovered that just really by experimenting, okay? So I'm kind of like a bit of a mad scientist. I'm always having to test things out and find out. I want to know for me. So I'm going to just show you here too that I'm putting the water samples back in, okay? And you remember the lines that were coming across? So now as I walk, okay, with that, I can walk through this whole scene here and the lines are removed. So this is countering all the geopathic stress lines in a way, okay? Yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's now no longer with the water, okay? When I'm testing this, this stays this way, okay? It's good, but because before. So this is not when I'm doing the positive test. So now what I'm gonna do, be, remember when I was checking the lines? When there were lines there, it would open up. So if you just lift that up again, once more. Okay, so watch what happens, okay? I'm in this energy field, there's an energy line running across this way, okay? And this is kind of along the wall. So our walls, the structures, can also, you know, incorporate the energy lines. And then as I move further, it closes up. And then here's another wall. Right across here, there's another energy line, okay? So likewise, in this direction, there's an, there's an energy line. Closes up, and there's another energy line. So could you put that on top again there, please, Peggy? So as soon as she places that on, okay, so we're in this energy line, and she's positioned those two together, the energy card and the OG, and you watch what's happened, that the energy dynamics here are starting to change, okay? There's an energy field that's kind of adjusting itself and brought into balance, and the energy line is canceled out, okay? Again, what we're doing is now we're bringing the invisible into a visible way of being able to measure that. These here are to test for positive energy or negative energy, okay? So as before, we were testing the lines, and then before that with the, the uh, DNA, we were testing the person's energy field. And so now what we can do is, as you can see, this area as we walked through before was kind of negative. Oops. So is, is negative open or closed? Negative is, is, is sorry, <laughs> I'm, uh, oh, it's sticking to my shoe. Okay, no, to my feet. So positive is open, negative is this way, all right? So you can see now that this whole area with the combination of that um, is changed. And this room before, um, if you go back, was negative. Okay, so now all this, because what we've done is the combination of the OG and the MF card uh, created that new technology and we've placed it near a power cord and the frequencies, the vibrations that are created between those two have changed the energy, the dynamics, okay? And we can go into any area of the home because our wiring, our electrical system takes it back to the breaker panel and at the breaker panel, all the rest of the circuits in the house join in as well. So then it takes the frequencies from there and distribute it evenly through the house. So we know again, the kitchen is typically an area that is uh, <clears throat> negatively impacted because of the drains. And we have the, the, the little uh, chimneys, I guess call that for taking the fumes out of the house. But this has all become a positive energy. So wherever we walk in the house, and, and that's what we want to accomplish, okay? We don't want these energy vampires or dragons as in Chinese culture work against us. So um, let's just walk around a little bit. We'll go up the stairs even, and we'll maybe even go down into the dungeon one more time where there was a lot of uh, yeah, negative uh, space. So let's walk. Oops, got to watch this cord for the, OK. 
Okay, we walk up the stairs, as you can see, this stays open, whereas before it was like this, I'm forcing it to be like that. But now, so we've got all positive energy flowing, okay? So we've changed the energy dynamic. We don't necessarily have to go, we'll go down to the dungeon because there's, there was a lot of energy. So by placing it in one area of your house, you might want to put it right by the power panel, but if you like it in another area, uh, perhaps near your Wi-Fi, your computers, and so on, um, you might want to do it. So again, we have a set of stairs here going down, and this would typically also be negative. And this area down below the stairs was all negative before, and we can see that's changed. And then we walk through here, and then we're going to walk in front of these mirrors, these big mirrors. So we've changed the dynamics, okay, even though there's the mirrors. And this whole space, because of these big mirrors, kitchen, uh, fireplace, it has mirrors around it. This whole setting was also negative before, and as you can see, this is all changed. And when we go to, into Michael's bedroom, so we can walk through here. And so it's the beauty of it. There's one place by which you can solve. And if it's connected to um, an electrical circuit, which feeds back. And so here we are. There's the power panel, okay? Right in front on top of this bed. And this whole space here was, was before affected by negative energy. And this is all changed now, okay? So it doesn't matter what it is, walls, mirrors, furniture, okay? Very simple way, even like I'm standing in front of this mirror, I can come all the way up to the mirror. That's okay now too, okay? So bathrooms. So we can change the dynamics of your whole house. And pour out a bunch of love, put the intentions of doing all that. Once again, I'm standing in front of these big mirrors and we're doing great, okay? right here. Okay, we're going back upstairs. <clears throat> I hope you're enjoying this information and um, we love to share that with you and to en enhance your life as well. And um, because there has to be more that if you maybe feel the life is out of you, um, that it's not about, you know, haven't taken antidepressants or taken more energy drinks and so on, but there are way more dynamics there. Okay, so we're going back here to where we have some of our OGs. And so whatever's going to be left of these, they're gonna be there on our website. And maybe it's because there's one of a kind, so if you see anything that you really like, We'd advise you to take action on it, okay? And then we will also do another segment. We're planning on it for next Sunday, so come and join us, and we'll bring Reinhardt back again, and we'll get into the depths of some of these things, even more so. So trust you've enjoyed what we've brought before you here today. And again, forward your questions to us. Share this information. There's so much to learn, and we want to just thank you for having joined us here today. Have a great day. Thank you.